Hello and guten Tag to Warthana with Lutz Stahlhagel. Today I'm taking up my P36 variant G in an alternate history battle over Berlin. The Curtis P36 Hawk is also known as the Curtis Hawk Model 75 and it was an American built and designed fighter aircraft of the 30s and 40s and it was contemporary built to the Hawker Hurricane and the Messerschmitt Bf 109. In American service, it was one of the first planes of a new generation. It was kind of a sleek monoplane design and it was used or it was built in full metal construction and was powered by a very powerful radial engine. Best known as the predecessor of the Curtis P 40 Warhawk or Kitty Hawk, as it is called here in the game, um, the P 36 saw only little combat during the service in the US Air Force. The only time it saw combat during US service was during the attack on Pearl Harbor by the Japanese. Some Curtis P-36 were able to shoot down two A6M20, um, giving the US the first air victories in World War II. So much for the history. I am flying here the P-36G. The G variant was never used in US service. It was only used by Norway for training. And, uh, but here inside the game it's a very good plane. While we are climbing, I can talk a little bit more about the armament of this plane. This plane is armed with uh, four 30 caliber machine guns in the wings and two 50 caliber machine guns in the nose. And this gives you a kind of an idea what you can expect from US planes later in the game. The US tree really relies on the 50 cals and the higher you get, the more it feels like that you're tickling your enemy to death. But down here, the armament is very well and very accurate. While you are flying the P-36, you can really practice how to fly the later American planes. This plane is kind of all about about boom and zoom, but despite all other meanings, this plane can turn very well too. It has a very nice big elevator and the turn time or the turn radius is very good, so you can turn even with the yaks and sometimes at high speeds you can even turn with Spitfires for a short time and we encountered our first opponents and so I'm now focusing on the gameplay. And here we have an I-153. This planes are very well in turn and burn. They're not so good in climbing up, so engaging this guy there would be the best approach to boom and zoom in. But I don't think I will take care of him. I just climb a little bit more. Having the energy advantage is really your life in this plane here. And now let's switch over, do a little turn. I think I missed to train my crew here for this plane. But my eyes are good enough to do not lose track of him. And I think I start my first attack run. I think I'm right now. He's coming up again. Maybe you have a shot. No. He's turning too hard. And zoom climb. This plane is quite good in a zoom climb, but it does not excel in it like the P38 or the P47. And now let's get back. I think this guy is really trying to turn fight us. And I may have a very good deflection shot here. He's really focusing on the Spitfire and... Uh, uh, nearly. I damage his aileron. And I hope this will help us. Okay, so we got taken out by the F6F. Good job there. I think by taking out the aileron, he lost nearly all of its agility. Um, making it easy for my team to kill him. This Yak-1 there behind me may come after me. I have to check it real quick. Yeah, he's coming after me. Running away from a Yak-1, Yak-7 or Yak-9 is quite difficult in this plane. It has not that much of a high speed or maximum speed. The Yak-1's maximum speed is kind of equal to yours. So running away is not the solution if you are running out of teammates, but 
I'm focusing off running here because I don't want to risk that he can get a deflection shot on me and yeah he is already breaking off I was hoping that he gets distracted by my companions uh, down slow and low and uh, I only have this Yagnan on my tail now but I don't think I will stay up here I think I go down to my teammates so that I don't have to fight him alone then let's do it Slide up a little bit, flip around, and go down and pick up some speed. Yeah, he's coming for me. He's really focusing on me. I'm the highest guy of my team, so I'm the biggest threat to the enemy team. Right decision of him. And maybe I have a shot there. No, I don't risk it. I think I just do an evasive maneuver. Okay, let's see where he is. Yeah, he's coming after me. He's still coming after me. But at this speed, I'm more maneuverable than he is. And I will outturn him easily, as you can see here. I may have lost him already. Yeah. Okay, one kilometer. Maybe I'm luring him out of the fur ball down there, taking him away from its, his teammates and taking him home to my base to fight him in an unfair fight. As you guys know, unfair fights are the best fights. But this guy is catching up a little bit. Now he's catching up pretty fast. Okay, that's what I said before. Um, the Yak 9 seems to have a higher top speed than you have in your P36. Um, I think what I'm trying to do now is dive away and hopefully matching his speed in a dive. The P36 is pretty good in a dive. And then, are we shooting? Yeah, but too far away. This may give me the chance to get away because these shots, especially 20mm shots, will take away a lot of speed of his um, plane. The shots really slowed him down. As you can see, he's losing track. My plan now is to... Oh, he's catching up again. Okay, I will take him down to my home base there and let him come closer. And when he thinks he is in a good firing position, around about 500 meters or 400 meters, I will pull out very hardly and hopefully he's into a turn fight. And if I have enough energy, I will alter him easily in this plane. And let's see if it works. I think that's close enough for me. Let's turn out. And hopefully he's... yeah, he can catch up in a turn. And now some a vertical barrel roll. He's losing very much energy. I don't do the vertical anymore. I just turn horizontal to don't lose so much energy. And he is burning very much energy, as you can see there. Now I'm going down. And I think I can pick up enough energy to match his turn yeah no he's coming he, he's going away I think he's running now oh no wait he's he's staying in he really tries to turn fight me and ah, I think I hit his fuel or no it's not oil maybe his coolant no, he's running. I think he's running now for his base. No! He really tries to turn fight again, but I think now I get him. Come on! Yes! Set him on fire! And I think that's it for you, baby. Come on. Yeah, he burned down. Oh yeah, he really burned down. So, as you can see, this plane is pretty agile. It doesn't roll that good, 
but the elevator is really good and you can turn fight even with yucks and sometimes even with spits, as you see here. Okay, let's get back to the fight and raise up a little. I think the F6F pilot is already dogfighting them. And I think I know what they have left over. I think it's a Yak 1 and. Oh, it's an IL 4. It's already set for fire by the F6F. And I guess an IL 2 is left. Let's see uh, what he discovered over there. They seem to be low and slow. So it's not that dangerous to lose my altitude here. I lose my altitude here very slightly to gain some speed while not over speeding or losing too much altitude. I am going into a very shallow dive here. I hope I get in there in time to assist my teammates over there. But there's an F6F and a bow fighter, both on the last enemy fighter I guess, the Yak-1. Both planes are very good planes and I don't think um, we can lose this anymore. Uh, oh! Oh, the Bowfighter got shot down by the Yak-1. Um, okay, now the scores are... I would say they are not even... Um, they are still on our side. Uh, and the Yak-1 has crashed. Okay, so now the scores are even. We only have left an IL-4 and I guess an IL-2. And if we don't do anything wrong now, I think this match should be won by us. Let's go down the aisle 4. The F6F is joining. And the aisle 4 will not survive, I guess, the next two minutes. As you can see, the P36 can take a lot of speed for a low tier plane. And that's what I like about it. Okay, let's shoot. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, set him on fire. And hopefully he's burning down. I will climb up. And then if he's not burning down... No, he's not burning down. Yeah, I think my teammate will do the rest. But nevertheless, let's... Okay. He got him. Nice teamwork, buddy. Good one. And an armor car and a medium tank got destroyed by an IL-2. Okay, I am right. The last enemy player is an IL-2 and... Where could he be? I think I have to check the map real quick. Okay, to our left and behind us. Now we have to observe really carefully where he might be. I don't think he's to our left, so we may have spotted him already. No, I don't think he's below us. We have, s we would have seen him by now. And he destroyed an armored car and a medium tank, so I guess he's pretty low and pretty slow. Let's lose some altitude, pick up some speed, and I think he's over there. He may be over there. It's the only place where we haven't checked yet, and uh, he's still lying there, <laughs> waiting for the end of the match. That's patience, guys. That's patience. Patience wins games. No, I, I don't think he's over there. No. I think he's somewhere in front of me. Maybe over there where my cursor is now. I expect him to be there. No, not below me. I would have seen him by now. Let's pick up some speed. Don't be too slow. Still three tanks. No, he's not there. My teammate is coming my way too. I guess he thinks that he may be here too. The tanks are shooting for the pillbox. No help there. Okay. Ah, oh, there he appeared on the radar. There he is. 
IO2, low and slow. Okay, buddy, let's attack him together. Nice teamwork so far. I really have to say that. Yeah, last guy. And we are the last ones of our team. Okay, he's going for a head on. Let's climb up. He did the head on with the F6F. Hi yo yo, coming down, picking up some speed, and making a pass. Okay. Yes! And go up and... Whoa! It seemed to be closer than it really was, I guess. Flaps. Ioyo, come down. And... Okay, credit him. Yeah, I think he's done. As you can see here, see 30 cal guns. Do not do their job on very good armored planes like the IL-2, but they do their job on the fighters here, especially on the low tier fighters that you encounter the most. And that's it for the match. Good teamwork, good match, and I hope you have seen what this plane is capable of. It's pretty good, it's kind of fast, good boom and zoomer, um, good turn time, use it to your advantage, and you won't be surprised by much on the battlefield. I hope I can get some ground kills here before it's over, but I don't think so. Nevertheless, I hope you had fun here. Um, see you in the battlefield. Bye!